Welcome to Spotlight. I'm your host, Amita. Join me weekly as I talk to inspiring guests who will share their success stories. Feeling great both inside and outside is key to self-empowerment. And that is exactly what True Bliss Wellness and Beauty Spa in Woodbridge has to offer to its clients. Today we are on location to find out more. It is my pleasure to welcome to our show the founder and owner of True Bliss Wellness and Beauty Spa, Miss Rosemary Fusca. Rosemary, thank you for talking to us today and thank you for having us in this wonderful spot. Oh my gosh, thank you for being here. I'm so happy and excited to have you here, Amita. Thank you. Congratulations, doing so well with the opening of this spa. Uh, but I understand life has not always been this easy for you. Today you're successful, a great woman leader. But tell us a little bit about how your life experiences have shaped you to be the person you are today. That is such a big deep question and I appreciate you asking and you know Amita I feel like I feel like I've waited my whole life to be sitting in this chair with you right now and as you said life hasn't been always rosy or easy for me but that's like everyone else's story mm -hmm. life hasn't been easy or, or rosy for most people uh, living on the planet today um, like many people living in Canada I was um, born from immigrant parents. My parents immigrated here many years ago with the hopes and the dreams of offering their family a, a better life, hope, um, all of the things that people look for when they immigrate to another country. In fact, my father worked, I think, for three years. It took him three years before he was able to bring my mother and, and my three older siblings to the country. Mm -hmm. So I can't even imagine what that would be like living without my husband um, abroad. And it, it was back then it was pretty tough. They didn't have the social services that our country offers today and they didn't even have friends and family living here. And so that took a toll on their, you know, making the sacrifices that they had to make. And there were so many that we won't get into right now, but it took a toll on their relationship. It took a toll on uh, their marriage. And by the time I came around and I was born, um, things just weren't that easy. And I didn't understand, like my parents did not have the tools and I certainly did not have the tools either as a young girl uh, to deal with what was around me. So I created my own little chaos and you know, starting from a young girl with, I loved school and top-notch grades and doing really well uh, to suddenly living in a lot of drama and chaos and mm. just fast forwarding a little bit. I, I became that child um, that most parents don't want their kids mm. to be associating with. I'll, I'll call myself the troubled teen or the troubled, you know, young person and uh, dropped out of school at the age of 16. Um, moved out, um, met my first love at the age of 17, had a child at the age of 18, mm. and spent my late teenage years um, running from a very abusive relationship. Oh. And, and again, back then, um, the police didn't have the authority that they have today to help. There weren't as many programs mm -hmm. uh, for abused and battered women and, and victims of violence. So that was pretty much um, a lot of what my wow. youth consisted of just abusive situations um, at home um, and then I, it, it followed me mm, <laughs> it followed me it into does. It, you know what that's what i've learned it absolutely does so now let's fast forward into you know 12 years uh, after that and i landed in the broadcasting industry much like the work that you're doing today. I worked for an amazing uh, broadcaster. We had three beautiful channels and things I thought were going really well. I was remarried at this time. I had four children and I thought, hey, you know, life has really turned around. And there were a lot of bumps in, in between this. I'm giving you the very fast track. But I'm <laughs> sure it's also you. Wow, you went through quite a bit and you turned around because you made an effort. Well, you know, with, with uh, family mm -hmm. and with friends, with God's good grace, mm. and when you find that inner strength and the inner power that we all have, you can overcome, whether it's an abusive relationship or an illness or some, anything, there, an addiction, 
there's so many different things that people go through. So my story, of course, it's special and unique to me mm-hmm. and maybe to people who love and care for me, but it's not that different. I'm sure from your story, for example, and we all have that, the, we all have places that we've come from that haven't been so rosy and they're, they're on the darker side. So well I, said, yeah. I love the opportunity just to share with people, um, if I can overcome it, anybody, anybody really can, because it's hard to imagine that a high school dropout, teenage mom, runaway, wow. yes. um, hiding for quite a few years from a very scary and abusive relationship, man, I mean, I could have been on the other side of the tracks. Very I could true. have ended up dead. I you could have, have gone the up. wrong path. You Absolutely. had two paths to choose. Yeah. Abs- and, and I think even more than that, because a lot of men and women in similar situations don't have the resources. They don't have the tools. And that's real. My parents didn't have the tools. And because mm-hmm. they didn't have the tools, I inherited how they were managing mm. their stresses and mm. their worries and fears and anxieties. And we all have them. So once I moved into um, a different place of my life and remarried and have had and still have four beautiful children and got into an industry that I loved working with, I, there were still some other things that had come up. I don't know if you remember 2008, 2009. It's hard to forget how the economies were. Had, yeah, it was in recession. And, and people were scared and yes. panicked and worried and they were coming to work guess what, scared and panicked and worried. And they're looking at me Mm -hmm. for answers. And I had none. So it was at that time that I fell in love with the, I'll call it the empowerment industry, where um, I learned about coaching and just how to live your potential and how to fight stress and deal with it and cope with the day-to-day anxieties that you get through social and business, just in life. If you're living in a human body, you're going to experience it. So I spent quite a bit of time practicing and learning those types of skills and modalities. Okay. And really from, from there, um, it was, I think in 2012, when I had to make a really difficult decision to leave broadcasting And it was difficult because I loved it. And I had a beautiful team of people, experts that were passionate about the work that they did, but yet there was still something missing. Hmm. And so that still something missing has really led me to where we are today at at True Bliss. It sounds like a self-discovery process. And that's where now True Bliss has come into being. So it's amazing you've shared that journey with us. So we we know where you're coming from and now where you are at, which is True Bliss. So we want to find out lots more about True Bliss, but before that, it's time for a short break. Welcome back to Spotlight. We are at the True Bliss Wellness and Beauty Spa. So wow, Rosemary, been through quite a lot, but you pulled yourself out of it through your own self-care with the help of family, found a spot in broadcasting, but you realized that was not for you. And lucky for us, that realization came, came along and now we are at True Bliss. So how did True Bliss come into being? True bl- you know what I said to you a few minutes ago, I think that um, I've waited my whole life to be sitting in front of you to be sharing some of this um, journey. True bliss actually has been, I think, uh, something happening ever since I was born, really. I, I have to say that it's been in me ever since before I even knew. But in 2009, specifically, we were having a family dinner my husband and my daughter and family members. And we started having just a conversation around, we were playing this game, wouldn't it be cool if, you know, wouldn't it be cool if we could go here? And wouldn't it be cool if we did this? And wouldn't it be cool if, wouldn't it be cool if we joined the passions that we have in our work and created one forward thinking company. Wouldn't it be cool? Mm -hmm. So my daughter is an amazing artist in the hair and beauty industry. Very passionate about that beauty and just giving people the most memorable experience that she can when she's working with them. And I became so 
passionate about self-empowerment. Like it really boils down to self-empowerment. And I know that word gets thrown around, uh, you know, quite a bit these days. But True. for me, it's, it, it is. It, it's so connected to that self-trust and self-confidence because if self-love and care, because if we don't have that, then how can we, how can we be empowered? And so I fell in love with that industry and I was so curious and so thirsty and I, starving for, to learn more and to understand how can I first and foremost make my own life better, be a better person. Mm -hmm. um, and that's how it came to be. We were playing that game. Uh, wouldn't it be cool if, wouldn't it be cool if we created a company that uh, brought these holistic modalities together, the wellness, the beauty, um, the spa therapies in one company. Whole. Being the, a whole. That's right, being a whole, mind, body, spirit, soul. And it's amazing how the origin of True Bliss came into being also. You had a healthy conversation with the family, which we rarely have these days. We don't have that communication around the family, around the table, share ideas. So the whole origin of True Bliss is also wellness on its own. It is. It's about, and when you say that, I have to smile too, Amita, because I don't know if, how many Italian dinners you've ever been at. <laughs> um, but I Couple, can tell, maybe. <laughs> you know, you, you really have to fight to get your words in edgewise. And, but this was just, um, and I remember the year, uh, because it was the year before my grandson was born. Mm. So we spoke of it in 2009, and it was like this dreamlike kind of vision. And then Taryn became pregnant with her first child, Marcus, in 2010. And that's- I have to say, you look so young. Grandmother, grandmother, amazing. Thank you. Remember, I was a teenage mom, so Taryn was born when I was 18. Mm -hmm. She's 32 now, yeah. and uh, I'm just so blessed to, to have had the opportunity to be a young mother. I wouldn't change that experience for anything nice. on the planet. And so from that conversation, Marcus was born a year later, and I was still working in the broadcasting industry. I mean, the, I didn't think for one minute that I would leave broadcasting to get into the wellness, spa, beauty, holistic therapies industry. I didn't think that that was... It was meant to be, and we are lucky. So tell us, what do you have to offer at True Bliss? It sounds like we will be uh, you know, well on the whole, but what are your products? What are the services that you offer? So True Bliss for me is a place where we want people to have three solutions in, in one really beautiful private location. So it's the solution of um, beauty, it's mm -hmm. the having a solution of a spa and having a solution of wellness. And so many people these days are looking for those modalities in one location. And it's because a lot of people are running around dropping off the kids, picking up the kids, going from one event to another event, working, mm -hmm. And so to the mechanical life, <laughs> a busy mechanical life and just living on autopilot. Mm -hmm. um, and hey, I know it because I've been there and there are still times where I can slip into that autopilot place because I'm just a human being. And so sometimes we, it's a necessity, but yes, uh, but we also need to take that step back and and just be mindful and present. Mm -hmm. Where are we? What do we want to do? And this is what true bliss is, is about. So when someone comes in, even if they're in a hurry, and it happens, they're rushing in for, uh, I'm here for a quick haircut or a quick blow dry, or my back is killing me today and I'm in a lot of pain. So sometimes mm. people will spend uh, 20 minutes uh, quickly, um, and then other people are wanting something more um, in depth, and they're looking for different types of, of treatments. And so it's really about what do they want. So we really want to listen and understand mm. who's in front of us, and um, what what do they want, what do they need, um, and how much time do they have? Because it, it's really more about them than us. We do a lot of different. Um, products and services here mm -hmm. but it's the thing I love about True Bliss is that it's really customized for that individual Perfect. and yeah so whether it's half an hour or a five and a half hour day um, we really want to make it about them mind body spirit soul but it really does it offers one, one solution for, for three different things and that's the spa 
That's the beauty and that's the wellness. So it's more personalized and I believe that's why it stands out from other spas and also the fact that you do have that background in Reiki, mindfulness and meditation. So uh, I'm pretty sure, uh, you know, uh, clients come here and it's different from other spas. We like to think it's different from, yes. from other spas. It already sounds like it. I'm sitting here, I'm feeling in Zen mode. So it already <laughs> feels different from other spas because it's not about uh, just beauty on the outside. It's feeling well from within. So uh, where can the viewers get more information about uh, not just the spa, but everything that it has to offer? So if they visit truebliss.ca and true we spell without the E, Mm -hmm. So it's just T-R-U and then bliss.ca. I would love for, I would, we love seeing people in person. Um, so if they're in the area, they can come by and say hello and have some spa water or an organic tea or just have a look around. They don't have to buy anything. It's not about selling. It's just about getting to know people. We are very committed about creating harmonious communities and giving back to the community and learning about the different types of people that live in our community. What do, what do they want? What do they need? Um, a lot of times we don't even know what we want and what, what um, we necessarily need. So we would love to see them in person if, if that's possible, but if not, they can visit our website at truebliss.ca and there's quite a bit of information there. They can pick up the phone and give us a call. Whatever method of communication you prefer. Anything possible at True Bliss. But there's more to find out about not just True Bliss but also there's more to you as well. But before that it's time for a short break. Welcome back to Spotlight. We are at the True Bliss Wellness and Beauty Spa in Woodbridge. Thank you so much once again for introducing us to the product services at True Bliss. So you're welcome. Come here, check out everything. So that's where True Bliss is today. But I understand you are committed to a lifelong process of learning, growing, developing through your complementary holistic wellness education. So do you have a vision for True Bliss, let's say 10 years into the future? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> I'm already there, I think. <laughs> I love it. You, you want to get ahead of yourself and that's why you're successful today. Yes, thank you. Thank you. You're so kind. You're so generous. I Really, my vision for True Bliss is that we have True Bliss and places like True Bliss on every corner, everywhere mm -hmm. on the planet, and not just in Canada and North America, just all over the world. A safe place mm -hmm. for people to come in and escape and learn how to relax, learn self-care, learn how to take care of themselves instead of always rushing around um, and living kind of in that autopilot, in that stress-filled um, environment, just getting the tools that they need. It, it goes back to my parents. It goes back to, I'm sure, many generations before my parents, mm -hmm. of course. Um, but it goes back to my own childhood. This place is not about, it's not just about a beautiful haircut, amazing you know, body and facial treatments or a massage therapy. Of course we offer that. Of course our signature services are incredible experiences and memorable and people walk out of here feeling cared and, and have that wow factor experience. But that to me is just, just the tip of the iceberg. For me, it's about education. And what's so funny, again, this goes back to my, to my dear old dad, who really um, emphasized the importance of education. And I'm not necessarily talking about the university advanced um, degree. I'm talking about education around being well, about mm. being confident, about self-love, about growth, about confidence. So um, life's lessons. Life, like 101, they should be teaching this in <laughs> we all school. Need that. Yeah. Yes, I mean, we all need to dot our I's and cross our T's and the math and all of that other stuff, but we really need to understand um, so many things about how 
our mind works and how our bodies function in connection with our mind. We need to understand that mind, body, spirit connection and get comfortable in our own skin mm -hmm. so well that, said. yeah, we need the, I really believe this. Mm -hmm. This is just my opinion and my own experiences, uh, but, but I really do believe that um, if we could teach and educate mindfulness, meditation, self-love, the things that we want to do here at True Bliss, on top of having people feel fabulous and looking great, that would end every war on the planet. Very true. I mean, you are leading by example. You came out of like a, you know, a place with challenges, but you came out of it because you empowered yourself and you found that better path to take rather than go down the dark road. Yes. So it makes a difference. And if everybody thought that way and everybody practiced what True Bliss has to offer, the world would be a better place. Absolutely. And I, I believe that as well. Thank you. And I, I'll say that it's it's not easy. It's that, that hero's journey, as Joseph Campbell has taught me, is not easy. Um, but it is simple. And if we just do a little bit every day, and that's my real vision um, and purpose for, for True Bliss, it's the education, the information, it's these new ideas, these new insights, these inspirations, just to take it in sustainable baby steps so that somebody's life doesn't just change because we're always changing all of the time, but it's, it it's about, yeah, it's about that transformation. It's that true transformation where we can look back and say, wow, you know, those things that used to bug me, bother me, the things that I thought I would never get over, I'm done with that now and I can move on and I'm a better person and I'm a stronger person and I'm happier and I'm healthier because that's what we believe here, that, that we can live happier, healthier and more blissful lives. Very well said. So all in all, we, we have been inspired so much by your life journey, uh, how you empowered yourself. You have a beautiful family. You have acquainted, uh, you know, your family. Um, and you're here today because of self-empowerment and because of the love and support that you have around you. So we have a lot of viewers, like you said, we all go through the same, uh, you know, struggle in our own ways. Yeah. So for our viewers, I was wondering, do you have, you've already inspired us a lot, but if there's one tip that you can give to them that they can already start practicing before they visit us at True Bliss, that would be great. Thank you. And that, you know, I, um, there's so many things going on in, in my mind right now about, you know, just words of wisdom. And I, I have to say, I, 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 wouldn't even want to put myself in a position where I am an expert in, in, in that field. I'm very humbled and very grateful and uh, feel very blessed to, to be speaking with you today, to have you Thank here you. and honored to um, be able to share um, some of these. If I would give myself a tip, because I believe that that is a tip um, right there in and of itself is before I try to change or transform anything outside of me, um, including people, places, and things, that the change is a really amazing mentor of mine who I didn't have the honor of knowing. But Gandhi said, um, I'm paraphrasing him, be the change you wish to see in the world. So whatever it is that we wanna see outside of ourselves, it really does start um, from the inside. And guess what? If we want more love, then we got to start loving ourselves first. Um, if we want more money, <laughs> abundance, we have to be we have to be more giving and more generous. Mm -hmm. If we want to see peace around us, then guess what? Where's your own compassion? Um, and so, but the and I know I'm saying I, I'm going way over the one thing you uh, asked me to uh, share, but I would really say that. Um, if we would really just love ourselves. It's, it sounds so silly and simple, but Amita, if we can just learn how to love ourselves, oh my gosh, it, the world really would be a most, well, it would start in our families, but, but it would really transcend from ourselves to our spouse, to our children, to our communities, our families, our and social networks. The world. the world and that's how you do it but you have to start with you first I well have to start said. with me very well so. said and so it all starts from within 
Thank you yeah. so much, Rosemary, oh, for inspiring us today. Thank, thank you, you for having us at Trubless within the Tranquility Room in Zen mode. Uh, once again, uh, we wish you all the best and with your vision with Trubless. Thank you so much. Thank you. My pleasure. So that was Miss Rosemary Fuska, the founder and owner of True Bliss Wellness and Beauty Spa. She has inspired us to take care of ourselves and come visit True Bliss. Well, that's a wrap for this week's show. Thank you for watching us. Continue to follow us for Facebook and Twitter updates and write to me at spotlight at ethnicchannels.com. Until next week, this is Amita signing off, encouraging you to find your own path to true bliss.